Hi, I'm Diana Dianovic. I'm an associate and architectural designer in Gensler London office. I'm Luke Asquith. I'm an architect here at Gensler um, and I lead our office developers practice area in Europe. And I'm associate leader for European practice area for office developers. And with the NLA, I'm on the tall buildings expert panel. As part of the NLA Next Gen Committee, uh, my role is to bring focus to key issues facing the next generations and future leaders, such as the environment, housing uh, and social value. The New London Agenda sets out six new pillars of placemaking. Um, and what really inspires me about them is the focus on the wider view. Uh, it's not just about what is on our site or what's happening now, it's about what's happening in the wider context and how do we think about buildings and developments as multi-generational buildings? How do we think about what happens you know, maybe decades in the future? When it comes to commercial real estate market in London, it's really about how can we move towards the longevity, uh, long-term goals and net zero uh, carbon development. Here at Genser, we're constantly pushing the boundaries of sustainability in our work uh, through our research projects, to utilizing software such as OneClick LCA and Genser product sustainability standard, and really finding best possible ways uh, to reduce uh, uh, the carbon footprint of our portfolio. So we're at an inflection point at the moment with uh, a lot of buildings in London entering another 30-year development cycle. I think the key issue with tall buildings is that their impact is much wider. So a tall building doesn't just impact its street, it doesn't just impact the users of that building, it actually impacts the whole city. The potential for that having a cost to the city is increased, but also the potential benefits to the city are increased. And you've got to take that wider view. And I think the New London Agenda really gives some tools to work within that framework.